Like what, what really fuels you in your life and your decisions and everything you do and, and why you do it the way you do it? Like what are you here in this world for? What difference are you looking to make? People talk about, I want to make an impact all the time. I want to make an impact. And what does that even mean? Make an impact. Buying a car, buying a house, is that making an impact? Like you don't even, you're not even anywhere near making an impact, but you talk about impact and purpose. We're going to get to the deep rooted level of that. So what are you even here for in this freaking world? Like what are you here on the highest? So why were you even created? What is your even reason for existence? That's, that's this higher level of, of purpose that we're talking about. What What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today, we are going to take it down to the barest level. We're going to take it down today to find the meaning of life and really what your purpose is and how to find your purpose and live according to your purpose. People talk about purpose all the time. We're going to take it to the real levels of purpose, higher calling, meaning of life. We're going to get to that in a second. But first, as you know, this show, the Steve Eckert Show podcast is all about hearing the things that you need to hear, not just necessarily what you want to hear. This is about personal discipline and development for men looking, men and women looking to improve in their mindset, their family, their fitness, and their business. And what better thing to talk about to increase all of those than to talk about your purpose, your meaning, the meaning of life. Like, What is your meaning of life? What is your higher calling? And we're going to break it down into different levels and different ways that maybe you haven't thought about it before in the past, different levels of this purpose. And I'm almost sick of the word purpose because it's overused all across the freaking internet. People use it all the time. They misuse it. They just talk about it because it's a cool thing to talk about. But we're talking about the really the deep rooted meaning of freaking life. That's what we're talking about here. And we're going to go. We're going to break it down to three. I wanted you to think of from three different realms, almost kind of a high level an internal level, like a higher level outside of yourself than an internal level and then an external level. And we're going to break down these three different ways of talking about purpose. And, and again, you hear about purpose all the time on the internet, purpose over pain and purpose over pleasure and all this other stuff. But I'm telling you what, the more you hear about purpose on the internet and the Instagrams and the social medias is really more lack of purpose going on. People forget what their purpose is. They forget what the meaning of life is. They think it's all about getting some likes and views on the, on the fucking internet, and they really are lost and lost track and lost alignment what their actual purpose was in the beginning. They might have had it in the beginning, but they've lost it, and now there's really there's no fulfillment in getting some fucking views and likes on the internet, and there's something missing, and that's what hopefully this episode is going to do for you is help you reconnect those dots And realign yourself with that real, true purpose, that real meaning of life. And we're going to start from the highest levels. Let's break it down right to that first level. I told you there's going to be three levels we're going to go into. That higher outside of yourself level, that internal level, which is the mid-level, and then that deeper external level. So let's start with that high level, that macro level of purpose, of meaning of life. That higher level, meaning something bigger than yourself, that higher calling. Being, this is where you're, you're somehow being of service, not just to yourself, but of service to the universe. And this could mean, when I say universe, I want you to think of that as God or something bigger than yourself, whatever to you that is, your creator in Napoleon Hill calls it infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it. If you're religious, that would be God and whatever religion you are, it'd be different gods. Doesn't matter as long as there's a purpose to a higher calling that macro level, something being of service or something higher than yourself. This is the highest level of purpose. And you could connect to that at any time. So even if the internal and the external is a little out of whack, this higher one is going to set the tone and set the pace for where you need to be going. This higher power, God, universe, infinite intelligence, the creator, your religion, whatever it is. This is going to be part of connected to what is people talk about their reason why. 
and they and they forget what their reason why is and they lose track of it. So connected to this higher macro level of purpose is figuring out what is your reason why. Why do you do the things you do the way you fucking do them? Like, what is the reason for it? What is the reason behind it? Why are you hustling and grinding? Why are you working so hard? Why are you trying to level up and work on your personal dis- discipline and development so much? Like, what is the actual reason behind that? What is the actual purpose of what you're doing? Like, what really motivates you and your actions? What is your your GPS system, your North Star that keeps you on track and on target and focused all the freaking time? What is that for you in your life? And, and, and that has to be something bigger, a bigger thing, bigger outside of yourself. That's why this is on the macro, the high level we're talking about. And it's pretty straightforward when you talk about the macro, this macro level, so we don't even need to spend that much time on it. But what are the, the, the real reason, the, what really motivates you, the real passions that you have? Like what really fuels you in your life? What is your real why? Not because your purpose can't be because you want to make a bunch of money or you want to buy the house of your dreams or get that s- s- freaking Lamborghini or some shit. That is not a purpose. That might be a byproduct of some goals. That might be a bonus. But that is not, is not this macro higher level of meaning of higher calling that we're talking about. Like what, what really fuels you in your life and your decisions and everything you do and, and why you do it the way you do it? Like what are you here in this world for? What difference are you looking to make? People talk about, I want to make an impact all the time. I want to make an impact. And what does that even mean? Make an impact. Buying a car, buying a house, is that making an impact? Like you don't even, you're not even anywhere near making an impact, but you talk about impact and purpose. We're going to get to the deep rooted level of that. So what are you even here for in this freaking world? Like what are you here on the highest? So why were you even created? What is your even reason for existence? That's, that's this higher level of, of purpose that we're talking about. What, how, how would you even describe, how would you describe your life? We've done this before. We've talked about it before. I just want to really quickly touch on this. When you, if you ask yourself, I ask you this question. I want you to finish this sentence. Finish this statement with one word, the first word that pops into your mind. Life is a blank. What? Life is a... That, that will tell you a lot according to what your purpose is. I did an entire episode of, of Breaking the Cycle with the kids. We talked about this, about the, kind of the meaning of life and, and, and the different things that we came up with finishing this sentence, but this will tell you a lot according to how someone, where someone's at in their head, what phase of life they're in or what their purpose is, what their real purpose is, where they're really coming from, the way they're thinking. Like, what's your answer to that? And then find out what is your, what's your spouse's answer to that? What are your kids' answers to that? What are the important people that matter to you answers to that question? Life is a blank. Your team members, your employees, whatever. This tells an entire story. This absolutely connects to your freaking purpose, that higher calling, that bigger meaning, that impact that people are talking about. And then when you feel off purpose, what's going on at that time? When you feel like you're off or not on task and on target, what's going on during that time? What causes you to fall off of that purpose? That helps you reconnect back to the reason why you're doing it, probably because you're disconnected to some of these things we're talking about. So that's just the highest level. And we don't, again, don't need to spend too much time in that. It's really connecting to a higher power, connecting to the universe, that bigger impact, your real reason for freaking existing. So we're going to call it the macro level. And that's going to lead us to the second level, the internal. And this one's going to be probably a lot, we're going to go a lot more longer and in detail to this, this one, the internal, me, really yourself, getting better, getting better every day, working on self-mastery. But not just working on self-mastery, finding out what is that self in the first place, your self-image, and really being yourself and then having self-expression once you find out who the fuck you really are, and being your freak self. We talk about it all the time, being your freak self, living, living your own unique life, like the uniqueness of who you are. Like You're not like any other motherfucker in this world. You are a genuinely unique, genuinely unique freak. That is part of this internal purpose. Like your purpose is a tie to your character, your identity, who you are, what you stand for. Like your purpose is to go and forge your own freak, unique freak path and be your own freak, unique self. 
And and when you're not doing that, you are off purpose. You are miserable. When you're not being yourself, when you're not being that, when you're always following the leader and never being the leader, when you're always copying and, and trying to be like other people, you are not on purpose. You are off your purpose in life. Your purpose is to be yourself, is to have self-expression, to be your freak self, to, to carve this own path, forge this own unique path of yours. There's, there's no need to look all over the place for purpose and, and look all over the place and find out, look searching for this purpose. You are it. You are the fucking purpose. Being yourself, living on your path, living your ideal freak freedom lifestyle that we talk about all the time. Being your freak self. So stop apologizing for being you. Recognize yourself. You either recognize yourself or fucking lose yourself. And that's when you get off purpose. That means you go, when you're searching for purpose, you basically means you lost yourself. Don't minimize yourself or minimize your purpose. Be unapologetically your own unique freak self. This is all, this is all the internal. This is all the internal purpose. And there's a fly here that is pissing me the fuck off. I'm going to get a grab, set of chopsticks. He's right there. That thing is pissing me the hell off. He landed right on top of my head already while we're talking. And he landed right on the camera. Probably zoomed in. Probably the camera zoomed in on him. But we're talking about the internal, the internal purpose. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, what are you really capable of? What is your true potential? This is the internal purpose we're talking about. This is, this is what we help men find out during the project is who they are. What is their real potential? Where have they been holding back in life? Like it's time to stand up and, and face your fears, even face the fears of who you actually are. Like never let the past or the future hold you back or paralyze you. Let, you let the past kind of hold you back. You let the future paralyze you. You're too afraid of what's going on. And th- this, this journey of your life right now, this moment, today is the purpose. This present moment, we've talked about goal setting before on, on, on previous episodes. It ties directly into this. We talked about your freak freedom lifestyle in previous episodes of the podcast. It ties directly into this. This journey is your purpose. Like right now, getting better every step, learning along the way, having a fucking blast while you're doing it is part of your purpose, your internal purpose. Like, this, this journey, make it a good one. Make it a fun one. Make memories and create memorable experiences along the way. Take responsibility for your freaking life and, and stop blaming other people for your circumstances and for your problems. Like, don't, don't wait for opportunities. Go and create them yourself. Make shit happen. A lot of, a lot of men are settling for average and balance and mediocrity, and they're letting their fears hold them back from even tapping into their potential and their passion and their purpose. Your potential and your passion and this journey is your fucking purpose. That is your internal purpose. Most men are not taking action because they're too afraid of of failure, and they're even afraid of success, or they think they're not worthy of it or not capable of it. Oh, that's not for me. Oh, from where I come from, that doesn't happen to people like me. That is not a man living with purpose. That's a man living as a little midget, as a little fucking bitch. But if you want to be the man who can achieve whatever the hell you want to do, whatever you set your mind to or whatever anyone wants to tell you, then it's time to get off your ass and start making shit happen and start living according to this purpose, this purpose of being yourself, this purpose of carving your own path, this internal purpose that is attached to that macro higher calling higher level universal religious purpose that we're talking that spiritual purpose we were talking about earlier it it does absolutely need to be connected to that in some ways but when it comes to figuring out this purpose and figuring out yourself and all this what you're capable of like create more clarity on what your actual purpose is and get moving in that direction like yeah it takes some work it's not just that. It's not as simple. Yeah, this stuff we're saying sounds simple, but it takes some fucking work. You're going to have to dig down deep and work, and that's what a lot of men are afraid of, and a lot of men don't live according to their purpose because they're too afraid of that moving in that direction. There's too much work to even go into that direction. Purpose has intention, and it has trajectory, and if, and if you want more success in your life, you need to stop being a little bitch, stop being afraid, stop thinking 
of and, and, and focusing on and getting distracted with all the shit that you don't want. That is not part of your purpose. That is a shit that gets you off purpose. Distractions get you off of your higher calling and what you're meant here to do. Why were you even created? What are you here for? You need to stop thinking about all the possible ways that shit can go wrong and focus on the possibilities instead. The possibilities and opportunities. Fuck what can go wrong. Think about what can go fucking right. That's what you need to think about. If you keep thinking about all the bad things that are going to happen, guess what? It's more likely for that shit to happen. But focus on what's good about your situation. What do you have going for yourself? Focus on what you actually want. Where do you actually want to be? What is your purpose and your higher calling? Focus on that shit. And guess what? You're going to automatically be moving in the direction of that. You're just calibrating, recalibrating your mind and setting the trajectory of where you need to be. Again, it's like your GPS, like your North Star. That's why that we did that macro level, that higher calling, because this just flows right from that. Like, what, what can you do with what you already have? How can these things propel you forward towards your goals? What you already have, what's already right in front of you? Stop fucking searching. That purpose is there. Again, I told you it's in you. That's where true power comes from when you realize that shit. Being yourself living life on your own terms. That is part of your journey. That is part of your freaking purpose. Knowing what your goal is, knowing how much work it's going to take to achieve it, and knowing how freaking awesome it's going to be when you do achieve that. It's all part of the game. Go, go deeper, fucking deeper into that purpose. Don't just talk about this impact and this purpose and this higher calling and all this spiritual stuff. You just talk about it, but don't actually practice it and don't go even deeper like visualize it, picture it, live it in your head regularly. Write about it, journal about it. Like get into the deep details, go deep where you could feel it, you could hear it, you could smell it, you could feel the feelings that you're going to have when you're living according to your purpose. Then, then put that shit aside and jump into the journey and letting that take care of itself. Jump into the journey and let the purpose flow and take care of itself to that higher calling. Once you're once you're focused, once you're committed, once you have clarity on, on where you want to go and why you want to go there, the how is going to happen automatically. It's going to just take care of itself. Just start fucking moving. Just get to work. Get moving in the direction, knowing what that purpose is, and just get moving towards it, and, and the hows are all going to work them, themselves out. That part doesn't even matter. Don't even worry about that part yet. This is the process of finding out who the fuck you really are and what you're really made of and not letting adversity and bullshit and excuses get in your way. Take that as a, as a challenge. Take that as a challenge to flip the switch. We talk about it all the time from the bitch to the beast. And it's time to, to take the fight to the game instead of just getting freaking pushed aside and distracted and whatever else. It's time to, to take what's yours. It's, and do you even have what it takes? Like this is the level, the deep level of internal purpose and meaning and life that we want to talk about. And let's shift into the third section. The third section, the external. This is the serving, the bringing value. Now for, for to me, that meaning of life, that external meaning of life outside of yourself, not that higher calling, not the internal mental purpose game, the external. This is when we're, we're talking about having kids and leading your family and your kids, serving in the military. Again, also still actually living that ideal, unique, personal free freedom lifestyle, not just setting it and making it an intention, but actually freaking living it, but having fun and enjoying the fucking ride, enjoying the journey. These are the external parts of the purpose. Let's, let's break that down. Like, this, this purpose of life is to be what? To do and achieve what? So that what happens? Like, think about that. Be what? Achieve what? So that what? Fill in those blanks. That is the purpose of your life. And those questions, the, the questions that are going to guide your journey, like what are, the, what are the, how do you fill in those blanks? How do you judge and evaluate if you're even living on, on, on your purpose? 
I, I judge part of my purpose. I've, I've talked about before about, about the footsteps, the footsteps of the kids when I'm coming home from a, a business trip or when they used to go to school when they were home home from school. How fast are their footsteps running to greet me to see me or in the morning when they're even just waking up on a regular everyday basis? Like how are those how fast are those footsteps coming towards me? That's how I judge my purpose. Am I living in alignment with my purpose? In alignment with that higher calling, that internal purpose. There's the external right there. There's where it's it's kind of evaluated and judged externally. If I'm living on 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 my purpose, then looking back at let's say my journaling or the goals that I wrote down a year ago or five years ago, and looking at the way I used to live life and my calendar and my schedule and the way I used to talk and walk maybe a year ago or five years ago, am I embarrassed of, of myself from a year ago? from five years ago, from 10 years ago. The lifestyle I was living then. You should be embarrassed of it. That's how you know you are getting better because part of that journey, that purposeful journey is self-mastery, getting better every freaking day. So am I embarrassed of the way I used to be? Could I whoop my own ass? Am I faster and stronger and smarter and more strategic than I was previously. That's all part of my purpose. Getting that is part of my external purpose. Getting this better, like in the grinding it out and getting it, getting better every freaking day. And every morning I ask myself, part of my journaling, one of my journaling prompts is, what can I do to make today fucking awesome? Then I also ask myself, who can I help today? Who needs my help today? Who can I reach out to today? Who can I serve today? Who can I bring value today? That's all part of the purpose right there. At the end of the day, I asked myself, did I get better and grow today? Did I live a life where my kids are going to show up to my funeral? Was that the type of man my son wants to become? My daughter would want to marry and my wife can respect and feel, feel safe around. Those are the questions. The answers to those questions to show, are you living according to that purpose that we talked about in that higher calling and that internal level? Now it's like where shit actually gets done in the trenches and you need to be held accountable for it. That's the external. You need to be held accountable to the, to the world for it. Like live your life in a way that you are just striving to make those answers just fulfilled and a big yes every fucking day. Every fucking day. And so on this external side, what is what it, where, where else do we go from here? Yeah, I talked about having kids. I think having kids... A man's purpose, a man's meaning in life to me is to, yes, have that higher service, higher calling to the universe. Yes, to get better every day on the internal. And then the external is to take all that and keep this ball rolling. Keep this rock of an, of an earth that we live on rolling and make it better. Leave it better than you found it by having kids, by creating future leaders who are going to create future leaders. We're going to be 10 times, 100 times, a million times better and more effective than you were. And then the next set of the external outside, yes, have kids. And like we're hardwired for it to keep the population growing. That's like what that's what we're made for. We're built for and designed for like literally designed for. That's the way the universe was made. That's why God made this universe is to keep the, keep it rolling and to grow and to make the populate the freaking world. That's what it's all about. Like that is literally the purpose. And then lead your people, lead your family, lead your kids, lead your son as a man. And then lead other people and connect with other people. You can't make it without other people in this. You need other humans in this world. Like that's what we're part of our purpose. That's part of the external purposes, the other people, connection with other people. Actually giving a fuck about the other people that, that, that matter in your freaking life. Humans need other freaking humans. And it took me a long time to figure that shit out. Humans need other, other freaking humans. You need to be not just celebrating and, and, and working on your own self-mastery and celebrating yourself. You need to be helping other people work on themselves and get better. And that, that ties right into finding a way of being service to other people, living, uh, making that, that is definitely part of your external purpose, being service of service to other people. What, what kind of, how can I add value to this person or this situation or this environment or this task or this project? How can I help other people solve their problems? What good can I do for this person or this team or this organization? 
Not what can I get from it or what can I benefit from it? What can I take from it? We're talking about being of service to other people, to that higher calling. That's part of your freaking purpose. We already talked about the internal. Yeah, the internal was a little more about you. The external is about what else there is out there. Solving problems, adding value, supporting people, help people reach out or, or reaching out to other people to help them. Focusing out on other people, not just yourself. Getting active out there in the world, out there in the universe, out there in your freaking community. Serving. Thing of, it says right there, savage servant, being a servant. Like contributing, contributing to the whole. And it loops all the way back around, back to the higher calling. Contributing externally, but to the whole of the freaking universe and other people and other, other men. Like then asking yourself, all right, you... Working on yourself to get better. You're trying to help other people. You're trying to be of service to other people. You're, you're serving this higher calling, talking about having kids and leadership. But let me ask you this right now. Do you feel like the people in your life right now understand what your purpose is and, and they can relate to it? They understand what that purpose is. And then if not, how can you better communicate what your purpose is in these different dimensions, these three different areas? How can you communicate it so your people understand you better and understand your situation better, understand your purpose better, and get in more in alignment with your higher calling? And then ask yourself this. Is there anyone in your life who seems to be off of their purpose? Like Identify those people and, and be of service to them. How can you help them? How can you help them discover what is their connection to that macro Higher calling. What is their connection to that internal purpose? How could they be connected to that external purpose? Help them find this stuff out. And probably as you help them, other people find out you're going to fine tune and elevate your own levels of freaking purpose at the same time. And, and part of as a man, yeah, part of your purpose is protecting and providing for your family. I'll tell you what, there's no, this is, ex, this is part of the external part. There's no greater responsibility to a man, no greater privilege, no greater weight on your shoulders. That's why men are meant to be strong and fit and durable. A father or a man's role is to provide the family with, with food and shelter and security. Fuck yeah, that's a purpose. You can't do that if you're not connected to that higher power. You can't do that if you're not connected to yourself internally and self-mastery and getting better all the time. How are you going to possibly provide and protect and lead these other people? And yes, part of providing is making freaking money. And that's pretty fucking important. But there are other things that your kids are going to need. That you're going to be unable to provide if you are not operating according to this purpose that we're talking about. If you're just focused on work all the time, you're going to be neglecting all this other shit. It's important. If you're just focused on money, it's easy just to come home after a hard day of work and just throw on the TV and just binge watch some Netflix bullshit and wasting some time and getting distracted on shit where there's no real freaking benefit. How about making time to, to teach some shit to your kids or to go on some crazy adventure, to create those memorable experiences, to have some freaking fun, to have some more connection. It's easy to tell your kids what they can and can't do. How about you teach them how to think? How about you teach them to do the right thing and make their own decisions? Help them develop a, a positive attitude that's going to contribute to their success, their self-mastery, which is then going to help them pay it forward and, and be a force multiplier and creating them into future leaders. Father key, a father's key responsibilities are not just financially, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually. A father also has a responsibility to lead and to protect, not just preaching and telling the way. Not even just teaching the way, but being the fucking way. Being the fucking way is the purpose of a man, especially when you have kids, especially when you have sons. Demonstrate the values that you want to see across the board in your family, including respect and responsibility and trust, your family's missions, visions, values, and goals. You should have core values as a family. We've done a core values episode way early on. Look back into the, into the podcast library. Be the father, be the man who's moving your own education forward constantly, constantly getting better. That was that internal. You need to have that internal before you can have the external. You can't go helping someone else till you get your own fucking shit together. 
So you get your own house in order. You can't get the rest of your house in order and spread it out to even people outside of your house. Be that dad who's always learning. Be that dad who's always getting better and always stronger. Be that dad who's the, the strongest on the block of all the dads, the one who's faster than all the other dads, like where it's not even a question. You're the fittest of all the dads. You're the most focused, most positive of all the dads. That's, be the dad that's getting better every day, the one who's self-aware, the one that but then also acknowledges their weaknesses and shows the vulnerabilities, not afraid to ask for help because they fear looking weak. Be that dad who's a, a fucking inspiration. And then the byproduct of all this is, yeah, you, you, your purpose can be the next external level, kind of the superficial level. Yeah, you should also be creating stuff. You should be building stuff. You should be growing stuff. You should be building businesses. You should be buying houses. You should be self-sustainable and, and creating a, a farm. Almost knocked a monitor over here. Get me all fucking fired up. I just swung my hand. Almost knocked another monitor over. You should be out there create, building a garden and digging holes and creating forts and tree houses and and bunkers to survive the apocalypse and setting up per- perimeters to keep your family safe. Like when you are being purposeful externally, you're creating stuff, building stuff, growing stuff. That includes money. That includes businesses. That includes actual physical things gardens, food, like that's what you need to be thinking about. So ask, I want you to answer this question. When you're feeling purposeful during the day, like when you have a day, you just feel like you are just on fire. You are just living according to that higher calling, that, uh, that higher macro external level, that mid level, that internal, and then that external level when everything is just all firing. And then even on the, these byproduct levels that we're talking about, when you're feeling a purposeful day, how would you describe it? What do you notice? When you go about your day, when you're, you're operating according to this higher calling, to this meaning of life, what makes you feel alive and on fire and awake and fucking explode? Like, what is it? Now, externally for me, first, it's the, for me, it's the internal when I'm getting better all the time and, get, and feel like I'm getting smarter and more knowledge and making myself better and fitter and stronger and faster and smarter and more wisdom. For me, that makes me feel alive. That wakes me the fuck up. That fires me up. But also then teaching it to the kids, helping the kids, leading the kids, having fun with the kids, fires me the fuck up, explodes, awakens you. And then externally, outside of the family, speaking on stage or running workshops in person, being in front of a group, talking to a crowd, running the men's groups like the project or the father-sons like the programs like the, the Squire program. That shit is purposeful. That is the external purposeful stuff that just lights me the fuck up. What is it for you? What makes you feel alive and on fire and awakens you and makes you fucking explode? Now, I'll tell you this. We'll kind of start wrapping this up with live your own life, not someone else's. That is how you live a purposeful life. Live your own life, not someone else's. Plain and fucking simple. It's time to do what makes you happy and not anyone else. You can't do this until you have clarity on what your own personal purpose is. Focus on becoming your best freak self. And, and the most important thing is that you are aware of who you are and who you believe you were freaking born to be. Like, what were you put here for on this damn planet? And then creating and this unstoppable impact, doing what makes you happy, which is freedom of self-expression. That is the greatest way to set example for your people, for your kids, is just having a freedom of self-expression, being your freak self. That is how you stay aligned with your purpose. Follow those signs. Follow those signs of your purpose. You're a fucking leader. Be a role model to your kids, to your family, to your friends, to your team, to your peers, to your coworkers. Because all those eyeballs are on you. What greater purpose could be than that? Than leading those people, inspiring those people, uplifting those people, showing those people the way. Teach them to have faith in themselves by first having faith in your fucking self. Pure demonstration every freaking day. No one can stop you from being successful if you have this type of purpose and if you believe in yourself and have this type of purpose. No one can stop you, no matter your background, no matter your fucking childhood and the boo-hoo, poor little me and all this other bullshit. Make your own fulfillment and happiness contagious. Be a source of discipline and energy and action and confidence and fucking power and purpose. Operate to dominate in your mindset, in your family, in your fitness, and your business. Start living life 
on your own freaking terms with purpose and meaning. And all three of these are all synergistic. They all loop together. Just to recap it, have that higher calling purpose, that higher power, whatever that is for you, connection to the universe, something bigger and better and more almost hard to explain outside of yourself. Think about how hard it is to explain and think about and comprehend the stars and the moon and outer space. Like That's the type of higher level connection to purpose we're talking about. And then Take that down to the internal, to the inside your mind and inside your getting better and your self-mastery and then the external to your family, having kids, leading your family, leading your kids, making them better than even you were, creating them to replace you as better version of you going forward, new and improved. That's the, the, the internal, the external purpose. And then, of course, building and growing and creating shit, doing all this with your own self-expression, being yourself, with living life on your own terms, doing the shit that makes you happy, and creating this ultimate freak freedom lifestyle. Go back and watch that episode also. This all ties into how you actually live according to your purpose and to this higher calling and the real meaning of fucking life. This is what it's all about. I want you to put down in the comments below. What is your purpose? What is your meaning in life? What are you here for? What are you on this fucking planet for? On all these different dimensions that we're talking about, all these different levels that we're talking about, all this depth, I want to hear about it from you. Put the comment down below and share this with your friends, your family members, your coworkers that also need help in defining and finding and living according to their purpose and need to start being more of themselves and living life on their own terms. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this this podcast with all your friends and family members and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. I will see you next time on the Steve Eggert Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.